Hey everybody, this is my German Blue Angelfish. I know you might think it's a half black when you look at it at first glance, but it really does have a lot of blue in there when it gets under the right lighting. It's got a few spots that really light up in this nice iridescent color. And today we are going to move this fish out of this tank and put it in a new home. I've got some fish in my quarantine tank. Uh, I'm not going to talk about exactly what they are just yet. I'm going to save that as a surprise for later. Uh, my Patreon patrons have already seen them. They know what they are. But for my uh, YouTube viewers here, that's going to be something we will talk about in an upcoming video. But I will say that they're very small fish and they would not survive in a tank with an angelfish. And in fact, they wouldn't survive in just about every tank I've got that I'm thinking about. And so I decided today a good solution for that would be to move the angelfish out of this tank and into a new one. And then I can do what I want to do to this tank and get it revamped and reworked a little bit. And then we can set this tank up with some new uh, fish in it in the very near future. So we're not going to worry today about getting this tank cleaned up or doing anything with this tank. All we're going to do is pull that angelfish out of there and put it in a new tank. So... There you have it. So I did have to resort to doing voiceover to get any video of this fish. It's actually been a day and a half since I moved the fish into this tank, but it's still, for some reason, really reluctant to come right up to the glass when I walk in the room. It doesn't really trust me just yet after having netted it out of its last tank and moved it. But rest assured, it will come back out. I've never had an angelfish that stayed shy for very long. So we will get to see plenty of this fish in the future. Uh, again, I had to set the camera up and just walk away. I threw some food in the tank and let the fish swim in and out for a little while. And I was able to cut together a few little clips of what it looks like drifting in and out of the shadows. So I'm really happy with the move. It's not only going to look great in this tank, but it's also going to serve the purpose of helping to keep the population of live bears in this tank under control. I've got several um, blue wag platies. I've got two red wag platies in there now, and I also have um, a bunch of guppies and endlers and hybrids in there. So lots of breeding going on in this tank, and with all of the cover and plants both floating and planted, a lot of those fry will survive and will grow up, but the angelfish will also help keep them from overrunning the tank and giving me more fish than I know what to do with. I'm already kind of stuck in that situation. So there you go. Just a first look at my angelfish in the waterfall tank. You don't want to miss what's coming up with what we're going to do with that 20-gallon tank and the little tiny fish that I've got in the other room that are going to go in that tank. So make sure you're subscribed and you won't miss that or anything else I got coming up. You never know what it's going to be with me. So I'm going to say thanks again. Don't forget this one here is my waterfall tank. See you real soon in the next one.